You guys ready for this? It's time to see who, what sign. Yeah, well, most people, they think that you're just going to use it, that it's just there to build everything from scratch. And it's like, no, it still can't. It still doesn't know how. Have you ever thought, met someone and thought, wow, this is meant to be? But you suspect the answer is no? Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> we can wait, Omega. I'm patient. Whether or not you believe in soulmates, there are certain people out there who just get you right away. So how can you find these incredible partners? According to astrology, one zodiac sign is your ultimate dream date. And once you know which sign that is, you can stop searching and start kicking it with your soulmate. So what are you waiting for? Take our quiz to figure out which sign is right for you. Thanks, WikiHow. Um, start quiz. If my partner did this, I would be thrilled. Showed up at my house with snacks and a map. Road trip time. A map? What is this? The 90s? Just Google it. <laughs> Susan, I hear his. And then showed her dog. You're like, yes, that's me in five years. Oh, wait. Are you more of a dog person or a cat person, Omega? Clean the whole house as a surprise. Acts of service are key. Gave me my space when I asked for it. Independence is so important. Listen to me vent about my problems. Everybody needs a shoulder to cry on. I mean, yeah, dog 1000%. Oh, I, I mean, I like dogs and, and cats, but as like an apartment person, I'm finding lean more towards cats. Uh, actually, some, uh, all of this just seems normal. A lot of these seem like just, they should all be a thing. Except for, I mean, the snacks and road trip time. I don't know. Road trips are cool in uh, in thought, but in practice, it doesn't always work out if everybody has different stuff going on. Um, clean the whole, I kind of feel bad. I guess just, I guess the space, we'll go with that. Picture this, you're living your best life. What does it look like? I travel to new places every week and I'm surrounded by adventure. <laughs> Man, come, I don't got time for that. I'm crushing it at my career, committed to an awesome partner, and live in a penthouse apartment. Why do you need a penthouse apartment? Like, I don't, what? I don't understand that. Mystery makes life exciting. I take things one day at a time. I feel connected to a loving partner and get to be creative every day. Like, what are, these all sound incredibly vague or kind of like, like a pet, you gotta have a pet. Why, why does it need to be a penthouse? Look, mystery, whatever. Someone just made your heart flutter. What did you notice about them first? Where's the butt? Nothing about butts! This quiz is rigged. Uh, they're gays. Individuality. You know what? I'd say eyes. I do like eyes. First eyes and then smile. Three perfect words describe your soulmate. They are fun, energetic, and courageous. Loyal, hardworking, and kind. Smart, independent, and open-minded. Intuitive, caring, and artistic. I, uh, uh, artistic's nice. Uh, but it feels like they just took a bunch of words and were like, threw them around, and they're like, this seems like a good thing. Because these are definitely buzzwords for signs. I don't know which ones. I don't pay very much attention to that. Let's go intuitive, caring, and artistic. Oh, why not? You're dating someone amazing. What one thing could they do to ruin it all? Not laugh at my jokes. Hello, don't you? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I know my jokes suck a lot. Show up two hours late to a date. Be respectful of my time. Fuzzy with four paws. Lose their cool during a friendly debate. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. Tell me to calm down when I'm upset. Um, excuse me. Well, I mean, what the fuck? I feel like this one's just like, wow. Pretty self-important, huh? And uh, you know what? I'm kind of bad with time stuff, but two hours is a long time. Or friendly debate. Well, a friendly debate. Let's go with that. What's your dream first date? Anything outdoors. Hiking, biking, you name it. A cooking class. A cook. 
Do people just randomly go to cooking class? Like, I mean, it, uh, oh god, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just not a very romantic person. So I just look at that. I'm like, is that what people do? Stargazing, a paint and sip class. Uh, tie her feelings and get her creative. Well, I'd suck at the painting part, but the drinking part I could do. You know what? Stargazing seems kind of cool. If the, it's not a cloudy day for once. What's your dating red flag? People say I'm not serious enough, but why be serious when you can be fun? I have a tough time going with the flow, but you can always trust me and handle the planning. Oh, no. I, you know what? I'm probably the... I mean, I can plan when necessary, but I usually don't plan for a lot of things. I've been called flighty in the past, but I've always felt that I've just independent... What? Flight? I mean... No? I've been known to get a little too emotional, but I can't help that I care. Like, what? Uh... I don't know. I mean, I'm different. I, like, I feel like I'm fairly serious when necessary, but a lot of times, maybe I'm just not serious enough. I don't know. How do you hope your partner influences you in your life? They should bring joy into my life. I want to laugh more and worry less. They should make me feel safe. Stability and commitment are key. They should inspire me. I need someone who makes me feel like I'm growing as a person. They should be able to create intimacy. Relationships are all about deep emotional connections. Like, well, I mean, I feel like that's probably like the job of both, but. Uh, Joy, I mean. Inspire. I don't know. You know what? I never thought about it. But maybe intimacy. That was one thing that was really lacking in my last relationship and kind of made everything a little sour. Well, plus um, other stuff. We won't worry about that. You and your partner jet off for a romantic getaway. What's the schedule? Non-stop adventure. Dancing. Oh, I can't dance. Zip lining. That'd be cool. Hiking. We're thrill seekers. Every hour is planned. Scheduling is the key to successful vacation. No, that makes you feel like kind of overbearing. I don't really like planning every second of a vacation. It makes it feel like a chore. We're all about culture. We'll get to know the ins and outs of a foreign city. A relaxing pace, long talks, couples massages. I've never, I haven't had like an actual massage ever. And romantic dinners. Okay, Defin right. I have, uh, I've just seen the, um, yeah? The chat, because obviously I've just got back. Uh -huh. and, uh, I've just seen the, I want to know if I'm ready for a relation bit of uh, Omega and Zunda's answer. And um, the person who asked us that actually ignored the advice and got in a relationship. Wow. And um, it was not a healthy relationship. Wow. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. She, she is no, no longer with the guy. Honestly, with this, I would probably, you know, I kind of, I'd probably go with the culture thing just because I do like enjoying other like cultures and foods and uh, saying I enjoy other cultures is just me being like, I love food and the different foods of the world. But like every hour is planned. Sounds like a fucking, that sounds like they have issues or they might be like, I don't know, no, uh, a murder. I, I would, I would. Really? I would plan. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Then again, I guess that makes sense. Zunder seems like the kind who's like, I don't fucking care. I just want to get this over with. What are your... Well, that's, what, that's why I would plan, because I'd have to plan to make sure it was okay for Zunda. Okay. Like, what are, no overcrowding or anything. What are your simple <laughs> pleasures in life? A gorgeous sunset. Finally completing a long project. I, I don't think I ever do a stuff like book. that. A great that's book. Mine. Or an amazing <laughs> conversation. I mean, for this, like, I mean, I love sunsets, but I feel like that's just, like... A throwaway answer, really? I mean, it's got to be a book for me. A good one. I mean, Omega, okay, that Omega. That <laughs> that's the secret one. But I mean, it is a simple pleasure. I don't know. For me, God, I do like a great book, but also for you at the minute, I definitely say book with how much you've been reading. I have been reading a lot. Uh, but I do like, like the problem is a lot of people like I try to talk to. You know, and, and keep up with people. But if the conversation is boring, then I'm not going to want to talk to you very much if it's always, like, the same thing. You know? Yeah. 
I like having stimulation. Conversations is always me complaining about my Well, no, well, it, it's better than the, the the person I talked to you about before who came into my life. Oops, I went on Twitter. I should close these tabs while I'm doing this. Um, who I had had like a kind of one-off relationship with, and then they kept trying to like talk to it. And basically, every time I talked to them, I'm like, okay. And then it always like circled back to sex, and I'm just like. Oh, sex yeah, I is. Me I was like, that. sex is yeah. good and all, but if this is like all our conversations ever lead to, it's kind of boring. Like, sex is sex. It's good, you know, it's cool and all, but there's only really so much you can say about it, especially if the other person is just like, it feels like they're just talking about it because they want. And I'm like, I, like I've already told this person, I was like, I'm not like, sorry, but um, you're not a person that I see myself in a relationship with, like. <laughs> Also, Omega, uh, Zunder isn't ignoring the fact you've replied to him. He just probably hasn't spotted it because he's playing Skyrim. Oh, true. <laughs> you know what? I'll go with great. Like, at this point, yeah, a great book. Conversation is very important, though. You're traveling the world and have an animal sidekick. What animal do you take? Golden Retriever, Husky. Why are there two dogs? Just say a dog. Cat bunny like they should have said cat and then been like calico cat why are there two dogs and both of those are high energy dogs there's no point those are two of the same answer makes me mad definitely not bunny i don't think uh, bunnies aren't very oh well they're yeah top wait are you talking about me no or the quit <laughs> oh you know, it's I'm going to go with Cat. In, uh, Skyrim. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's your dream gift? An exciting experience. A skydiving class for one? That's perfect. Wait, why would you say for one? Why wouldn't you go with your significant other? Unless, it, uh, yes. Something handmade. Show me you care through hard work and I'll be happy. Something. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to be like, yeah, I know something you could do with those hands. <laughs> Something unique. Skip the boring flowers and chocolate. Something personal. Buy me my favorite candy or write me a sweet poem. I don't, I don't think anybody's ever written me a poem, but I'd say something personal. Because some of the best gifts I've ever gotten have been like shit that's not on my wish list or anything. Because my wish list is just like a general thing. But most people know that I like like Mario and other things. And not only that, look at look at your living room and your yeah, beautiful and I mean, side like, tables. Oh shit! I was showing the camera my um <laughs> my you mug. Your camera wasn't there. Yeah, but my camera's not on. Like this mug, I got randomly from a friend like two years ago, and it's just like a huge PlayStation mug, and I use it every fucking day. Any time that I drink coffee or tea, it's just it's like simple stuff. You like stuff that you ask for? <laughs> Wait, really? Oh. Honestly, Omega, I am exactly the same. I'm not usually a fan of surprises at all. I mean, yeah, it depends. I, I don't know. But I, I'd say something personal. View results. You should date an air sign. What does that mean? What is this? Avatar The Last Airbender? Um, What do my results mean? The results are in. Your Zodiac soulmate is definitely of the air variety. What? Hate? What are you saying hate for? Are you talking about that quote? Uh, surprises, I think. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, I see, I see. You were correcting I hate yourself. Gifts. Well, and I'm just, well, that's good because I don't usually do that because I'm like, I don't think. I don't there, know. there was one time actually where Chaos did do it to me, but uh, he told Zunder about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Find and, out this. Uh, a delivery oh. arrives, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> see, it's fine. Like, stuff like that, and it doesn't happen very often. Risky, yeah. Okay, let's see. Which air sign is your ultimate match? To find out, choose a statement you agree with most. I want someone who's a partner and a friend, even if they're flaky with plans. I want someone romantic, even if it takes time for them to commit. I want someone unique even if they have trouble expressing emotions. I went for C, as you can see yeah. in my fiance. Yeah. <laughs> you should date an Aquarius or a Libra or a Gemini. Those are air signs? Isn't Aquarius? That's not water, but it's Aquarius. Do I just not know how signs work? That's. I have no fucking idea. That like, could be it. Zunder is most definitely not uh, 
Aquarius, though. He is a uh, Capricorn. Okay. Well, any Gemini, Libras, or Aquarius is in chat. <laughs> <laughs> And the funniest part about it, right, is, um, you know, the, the obviously stupid fucking things where it's like, see if you match. And it's like, uh, yeah, no, uh, Virgo does not go with Capricorn ever. Yeah, and I'm uh, like, but me, me and Zunder have now been together nine years in April. Yeah, so I don't, like, that's why I, I don't take a whole lot of stock into it. People are like, you don't believe in it. And I'm like, I mean, there's probably no, a little no, bit don't. of. <laughs> There might be a little bit of truth to things, but like, I don't know. Like for me, it, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not as in tune with my inner Leo. And, and a lot of times they're like, Leos are like really loud and obnoxious and also like super um, like stingy and stuff. And I'm like, wow, thanks for, thanks for assuming things based on the fact that I was born at the latter end of July. Okay. Well, Probably, are you a, um, Oh, man. Are you a August Virgo or a September Virgo? Well, I guess I need to get on that Tinder and look for them Gemini's, Libras, and Aquariuses. Aquarius? Aquarius? Yeah, you know. I don't know. 